Hello and welcome to Mr. Hill's Math Minutes, the videos that will help you help your students find success in mathematics, and today we will be taking a look at subtraction. So let's go over to the whiteboard and check it out. Okay, so we have a subtraction problem here. We have 573, and from that 573, we will be taking away 249. Let's figure out really what's going on with this problem. To the right here, I've broken out each place value here to figure out what we currently have. And with the five in the hundreds place, we have five hundreds. And I've represented those with these little squares. So we have five one hundreds. Our tens place, we're represented by seven tens. The lonely ones place, I have three ones. Well, in subtraction, we start with the ones place when we're subtracting. We're going to start with the ones and move to the tens and move to the hundreds. So we have a three and we're taking away nine. So let's visit over here on the right, our ones place, and we have three. It's not possible to take away nine from, from three. So we're going to regroup, we're going to borrow, we're going to take a little bit from the tens and add it to the ones. Now, when we regroup, we're going to do that in groups of 10. We can't just borrow like four, or we can't just borrow three. We have to borrow 10 of them. So we're gonna take a look at our tens here, and I'm going to take one of these tens, and I'm gonna break it up into 10 ones. So I'm gonna take one of those tens, break it up into 10 ones, and add it to my one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now this 10 is gone, so I'm gonna mark through that 10, leaving only one, two, three, four, five, six tens left. Now, we can't do this, so we're gonna come over here to seven, mark through our seven, put a six up, and add one to the three. So we have this traditional way of looking at it. I've got a 13 in my nine, and over here I've added 10 more for a total of 13 to my ones. Now, if I have 13 and I'm trying to take nine away, that is possible, so I'm gonna mark out nine of my ones. Let's see what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I take nine away from my ones column here, I'm left with one, two, three, four. So I can put four here because the difference in nine and 13, or 13 and nine, is four. Six and four, I have enough. If I'm taking four away from six, that will, that will work. So I'm just gonna remove four from my 10 spot, one, two, three, four. And that leaves me with two tens and six minus four is two. Come over to my 100 spot. I have one, two, three, four, five. And from that, I'm removing two. So let's mark out two. And that will leave me with one, two, three for a difference of 324. Really what's going on with regrouping, and let's take a look at one more before we go. Problem this time, we're gonna take 500, and from that, we're going to subtract, or we're gonna take away 217. So just like on my top problem, I broke this out. We have 500 in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place, and we have zero in the ones place. Start in the ones place with zero, and we're trying to take seven away from zero, which you can't do. Let's go over to the 10 spot. Well. There's nothing to borrow in the 10 spot. It's just as empty as the one spot. But we can't come over here to the hundred spot because there is five hundreds in the hundred spot. Now, once again, we can break this out in groups of 10. So there are going to be 10 tens in a 100 square. So I'm gonna take one of those away and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now I have 10 in my 10 spot. Let's look at our numbers and see what just happened. We came all the way over to the five, crossed that out, made it a four, one, two, three, four, and we added one of those to the 10 spot. Now people write that different. I always just put a one there. It looks like a 10. Now I have four hundreds, 10 tens, but still zero ones. And we gotta get something over here. So now let's visit our 10 spot. Now since we have 10 tens, we can break one of those tens out into 10 ones. 
So I'm going to mark through one, and we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. So let's see what that looks like in our problem. We are now left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. So what happens? We borrowed from that, and that turned that into nine, and then we're able to add ten into the ones spot. So every spot now, every place has some value to it. So let's see if we can make this work. We're trying to take seven away from 10, and I think we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, leaving us with three. Seven from 10 is three. We'll move to the tens. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're trying to take one away. So let's take that one away, leaving us with an eight. We're done with the ones, done with the tens. Take a look at the hundreds. I have four hundreds, one, two, three, four. I'm looking to take two away, leaving me with two, one. Guys, that's what's really going on with regrouping and borrowing in subtraction. Please like this video, share it. If you think that this could help someone else out with their student and their understanding of mathematics. Till next time. See ya.